Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, the 20th of April, 2020. So that makes it April being four, that's two, two, then 20 is two, and then 2020 is two, two. So we're like looking at five twos, right? Moving forward. Moving forward with a huge yes to life. Gandhi once said, the world has enough for everyone's need, but not enough for everyone's greed. Which I think is what's taking place now, right? Okay, let's see what's happening for Monday, the 20th. 2020. 20 could obviously be significant. Anniversary, wedding, engagement. If so, congratulations. I don't know. I heard it, so I have to say it. Okay, let's see what's happening for Monday the 20th. Okay, moving forward, exactly. Moving forward, wanting to like go really fast, but as we all know, that's usually not the answer when we are ready to move forward with like extreme passion and like vitality, right? I mean, this is fast action. Let's see what's next to it. Let's see what's happening. All right, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so fast acting. We don't know exactly what the feminine, this could be, it doesn't have to be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it could be, okay? So someone, someone that is wanting to come towards you, it, it's going away from you, however, so let's just look and see what's going on. Okay, so being in our thoughts. So this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is much in thought, right? Like, and I think the question and I think the reason why the Knight of Wands is going the opposite way of the Queen of Swords is that she wants to go forward, but she can't. It's feminine, just, just so you know. It's, I'm going by the card, depiction. And... Even even though we want to all move, right? We want to all move quickly. It's best to relax. Maybe just take a little rest. Get some better sleep for sure. This is like sleepless nights. You know, being in your head too much that you can't sleep, you know. And wanting so much to happen, but it, you can't. You're Because we're at a standstill. So here's the, here's the, um, the opposite, right? On each side of the queen of swords lies the knight of, knight of wands and the four of swords. So obviously one, it's contradictory. Well, that's because we can't go anywhere. We want, we want stuff to happen, but we can't. And because of that reason, we're in this, fluctuation of go forward or chill staying staying out of your thoughts would be good and trying to get more sleep is what I see here while we are in a standstill and things can't move toward any right now maybe you're thinking of how can I manifest what it is that I want here is the pearl right trying to get to that to that pearl right? Trying to get and work hard for it. Working hard for your money, working hard. Um, I also, lately I've been seeing in this card the message. So there's a message coming in for some. A bird is going to bring a message, which doesn't mean obviously in the literal sense. It is in the figurative sense. So some, some message is going to come to someone perhaps this week 
or it could be Monday today, okay? All right, let's see what's happening here. So someone is gaining a lot of knowledge because I see through the read the books. Reading is is important part of your daily routine. I see you're also trying to put things together, like put the pieces of the puzzle together. So you're thinking a lot about moving forward in the sense of what you're working on, what your next project will be, um, what's going to bring you that message of success and the treasure that lies within, right? It's the pearl that this guy is working so diligently in doing, right? So if you get more rest, this may come to you. If you get more rest, you won't be struggling so much and so focused on your... It's not that you shouldn't focus on what you're doing, obviously, but focusing on... I think maybe you're focusing on too many projects at once and not focused on one that is specific to you. Okay, so if that is the case, then try to focus on just one thing at a time. The Page of Cups. Doing what you love is important here. So this focus is should be on just what you love and not on anything else. If you're focusing on a book that you're reading, focus on just that only. Love that you're reading, love that you're learning, love that you're starting to create, but whatever it is, do it with love and for sure compassion and, and passion, right? Okay, let's see what else, it's good. Whatever it is this queen's working on. See, it's that's what the problem is. The problem is lies in the in not knowing what it is. I think that's what it I think that's what we're being told here. She's trying to figure out the feminine, Gemini Libra Aquarius is trying to figure out exactly where this pearl lies in what he and or she loves to do and has great passion for. And so that's in question right now. It's like, what is the most, what is going to, and it's not what is going to get the most bang for my buck. And if that is the way you're thinking, then that's going to be where you, where the greed lies in today's message, right? It's not about how much you're going to make. It's what you're going to create and how much love you're going to put in it. That's what it is, what lies before you, in front of you, right? So doing what you love always, queen of wands. Well, this queen definitely does what she loves. She's very passionate. She's powerful. She's romantic. She's all about love, right? She's all about vitality and creativity. So if you're dealing with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, you have, like, I hear a dynamic duel. And for some reason, here it is. The King and Queen depicts a, like a connection, right, of like-minded thoughts, like-minded beliefs, like-minded everything, right? So... Putting these two together, right? These two are very like-minded, correct? Right? It's feminine and masculine becoming whole. And that wholeness that is brought here, that wholeness combined, it's like um, mixing, uh, you know, baking. It's like mixing all the ingredients together, right? Now we have the combination of well, we have, we have the plans in place. We have the blueprint. We have the, the way, you know, all the ingredients are going to be lined up. We know exactly what the ingredients are. We know what we want to, 
what we want to create, mother of pearl, right? We know what we want to create now. It's come to the forefront that we know what we want to create because we have this. This was missing. This was like the piece that was missing. It was like you need one extra egg in your, in your, you know, in your ingredients. And here is the love of what you're making, what you're achieving, what your goal is. This is all about the, the love that what you're putting into, what you're putting into and what you're working hard at is going to be fruitful. Why? Because it, ha it comes with the love instead of what it's going to produce. All right, so the focus is on the pearl and not on how much money you're gonna make. It's focusing, it's focus is on what is it that you love to do here? This is doing, this is an action. This is love and this is love. This is all about creativity, right? Being creative, loving what you do. And here's the goal. The goal is this one focal point of, right? the mother of pearl. It could be, um, this is, that's the goal, right? So that's what you're, what you're needing help in recognizing. You need to recognize it. You need to see, feel, and believe in it in order to create it. And then this is where, that's where the, the understanding comes in of creativity creating something you may be you may be gearing up to create something with a leo aries sagittarius as well okay so we have to love what we do right even though right now you may be in question of what is it that i'm going to really put all my effort in i want to put all my effort in and i'm losing sleep worrying about it and if it's going to benefit me, that's where, this is where I believe the, the, the little glitch, the glitch in this reading is exactly what Gandhi was talking about. The world has enough for all, right? The world has enough for everyone. Make sure that this focus point is on this instead of how much it's going to benefit you financially. The greed is in is in the question here. That's why we have this. It's this is the question of the understanding, not seeing something for the pearl that it is within. This could also be loving someone. I just heard it. Love someone for what they have within and not what they are going to just bring to you, like financially, etc. What power that they bring. Love them for who they are within. The pearls within. I got it. I got it. That's like the deepest, that's the deep message, right? Because loving someone for what they have to give to you from your their heart center brings you this this soul counterpart of the love for another and understanding that love on such a much more uh higher level in your life right being able to to see the balance of loving someone for true love versus like a lustful thing or power of the money etc got it yeah Okay, so let's get three cards to give us more truth and understanding. This is a great reading. So that's what a lot of people, I think, are looking at right now. It's, it's not the, the, it's not about, it. Uh, on the whole, that's what we want to strive for. We want to strive for understanding everyone has what it is that they need within them selves yeah you just have to go out and seek it and seek it for yourself right 
you have to go out and seek it for yourself, but on a level that is pure and driven by love and wanting to make something happen and going forward, moving forward from now on in a sense of what you love to do, who you love to be with. It's all about love, is it not? Right? The common denominator is love and the love of self and or another. And not being greedy, right? Not wanting, not wanting the same old, same old like it was before. I mean, this, this quarantine and this actual, the influence of the hidden, like, transformation that the planet is undergoing right now is something that we need to really assess within ourselves, right? This is a transcendence of all of our dreams and what we believe in and what we can bring to the table from here on in. It's different now. The whole structure is different. Understand that. It's about being more disciplined on what you really believe in. See, you're facing, many are facing this greed, this shadow side of yourself. We all have it, right? So we're facing the part that wants to get there faster, instant gratification, be very aggressive and only want what you want when you want it. That's what we're facing. We're facing our inner self right? And that's how you're going to learn and grow. So we've been, we are going to be facing this probably up until a period of, it says July, but this is, this is driven by the universe. Not only is Mother Earth going through a transition of healing, so are we. We are facing, all of us are facing, each and every one of you, whether you know it or not, are going through a transformative time of healing and of understanding life versus death and going through a whole transformation of, of understanding. It's changing. Everything's changing. All right. So things will continue to do so at least up until July. Here's another seven, you guys. So stand up for what you believe in. A lot of this, a lot of this going on is going to be standing up for you, what you believe in, in terms of your power, your worth, the love that you bring to the table, the creativity that you bring. You're gonna stand up for yourself on every level with others. I'm not saying defense mode. I'm saying standing up for your beliefs and standing up for this in which knowing that everyone has enough, but not enough Those who think it's not enough will be greedy and have been greedy. And that's where this comes in. Okay, one more. I did ask for three, but I'd like one more. Thank you. The past of how we believed we're going to move. This is the past. The past is something that we need to now understand that we can no longer sustain what was not working. It's, this is really about the ego and the self. The self is the ego. You're facing your ego, your shadow side, and you're saying, wait a second, I can't keep doing what I used to do. I'm going toward this pearl. This is what I want. This is the life that I want. I want the life that's going to give me the greatest love and understanding and belief system that changes the whole terrain. Everything changes when you look at yourself outside of your ego. It just does. What it looks like, what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to feel like, what it's supposed to this, what that. That is changing for humanity because everyone is facing their ego. Everyone's going through this. And this week is going to be pretty intense. So keep a low profile. 
keep your eye on the prize also is what I hear, which means, you know, doing nothing right now is a good thing. <laughs> All right, let's get one card here. This is Gaia. There's our connection. Again, we are connected. The world, the world, which is Mother Earth, has enough for everyone's needs, but not enough for everyone's greed. Be mindful of the planet and come back to Earth and stay grounded, right? Facing yourself in a whole new way of healing and transforming life and death, right? Healing, transforming, that's what we're all doing right now. Let's focus on that in such a good way, in the vitality of life. Have a great day.